At least 11 people have died in Ukraine after Russian forces fired another wave of missiles and exploding drones on several areas, including the capital, Kyiv. A day after Germany and the US pledged tanks to aid Kyiv's fight against the invasion, Russia launched a wave of missiles at Ukraine on Thursday. The state's emergency service said 11 people died and 11 others were injured after 35 buildings were struck across several regions. The worst damage to residential buildings was in the Kyiv region, and strikes on two energy facilities in the Odessa region were also reported. Before we dive into the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more amazing updates. The storm came as Russia perceived the new offer of military support, which followed a UK pledge to send Challenger 2 battle tanks, as direct Western involvement in the conflict. In a sustained and wide-ranging attack, the head of the Ukrainian army said Moscow launched 55 air and sea-based missiles on Thursday. Valery Zaluzhny added that 47 of them were shot down. Ukraine's air force said it had downed a cluster of Iranian-made attack drones launched by Russian forces from the Sea of Azov in the south of the country. Reportedly, a 55-year-old man was killed and two others wounded when non-residential buildings in the south of the capital were struck. This was a continuation of Russia's months-long tactic of targeting Ukraine's infrastructure. The freezing winter witnessed power stations destroyed, and millions plunged into darkness. After Thursday's strikes, emergency power cuts were enforced in Kyiv and several other regions to relieve pressure on the electricity grid. A day earlier, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz promised to provide Ukraine with 14 Leopard 2 tanks, which are widely seen as some of the most effective battle tanks available. The heavy weaponry is expected to arrive in late March or early April. Meanwhile, President Joe Biden later announced the U.S. would send 31 M1 Abrams battle tanks. Canada also promised to supply Ukraine with four combat-ready Leopard tanks in the coming weeks, together with experts to train Ukrainian soldiers to operate them. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said on Thursday that 12 countries had joined the tank coalition. An advisor to Ukraine's defense minister said 300 to 400 tanks would be needed to be a game-changer. Berlin's decision unlocked offers by Canada, Finland, Spain, the Netherlands, Portugal, Poland and Norway to provide Ukraine with their own German-manufactured Leopards. About 300 tanks are expected to be provided. Germany said it will seek to deliver the Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine by early April, while Poland's government said the tanks could arrive in a few weeks. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg said sending tanks to Ukraine would significantly affect the country's ability to win the war. He also cautioned that Russia was planning a fresh offensive, just as reports began emerging from Ukraine of missile strikes following drone attacks overnight. On Thursday, the U.S. designated Russia's Wagner Group, which is believed to have thousands of mercenaries in Ukraine, a transnational criminal organization. It also imposed fresh sanctions on the group and their associates to further impede Putin's ability to arm and equip his war machine. On the other hand, Ukraine's top general vowed that his country would not be broken after the successful downing of 47 of the 55 missiles launched by Russia in a mass attack that followed the Western offer of tanks. Commander-in-Chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, General Valery Zaluzhny said 20 of those intercepted had been heading to the Kyiv region, where one 55-year-old man was killed and two injured by falling fragments. As a result of the Russian assault from air and sea on Thursday morning, a total of 11 people died while a further 11 were wounded. Huge explosions had shaken Kyiv at 10.06 am local time, and raid sirens sounded across the country. The targets of the strikes appeared mainly to be electricity plants and substations. Several cities had already taken the precaution of turning off the electricity supply to mitigate the level of harm as reports emerged of bombers and cruise missiles heading towards Ukrainian targets. Ukraine's Prosecutor General's office said three people had been killed in Zaporizhia, in the southeast of Ukraine. At 3.40 a.m., the Russian military from the S-300 air defense system launched a missile attack on a critical infrastructure facility in the Zaporizhia district. Three people died, and seven more were injured. Bridget Brink, the U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, Bridget Brink tweeted, Another cruel attack, same strategic failure. 
Waves of Russian drones and missiles can't stop Ukraine's heroic defenders, its brave people are our determined, unified support. In Moscow, Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov denounced the move by NATO allies, claiming it amounted to involvement in the conflict. He said, there are constant statements from European capitals and Washington that the sending of various weapon systems to Ukraine, including tanks, in no way signifies the involvement of these countries or the alliance in hostilities in Ukraine. We categorically disagree with this, and in Moscow, everything that the alliance and the capitals I mentioned are doing is seen as direct involvement in the conflict. We see that this is growing. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more amazing content. Until next time.